The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, achieved a successful launch and deployment of four experimental satellites into low Earth orbit on Monday, June 12. These satellites were part of the ongoing Blackjack project, which aims to demonstrate the use of commercial partners for military applications in space. The satellites were launched as part of a SpaceX Transporter-8 rideshare. Originally envisioned as a constellation of 20 satellites, each with different mission payloads, the Blackjack project intended to establish a government-owned network mesh in space capable of optical communication. This network would connect the U.S. military to its bases, sensors, and weapons across the globe. However, the project has been scaled back to only four satellites for the time being. The Space Development Agency of the U.S. Space Force is currently leading efforts to deploy a low Earth orbit LEO, constellation for the Defense Department, surpassing the original vision of Blackjack. According to Stephen Forbes, the program manager for Blackjack, the initial launch was originally planned for 2021 but faced delays due to supply chain issues. At present, DARPA does not have any plans to include additional satellites in the experiment beyond the four that were recently launched. The four Blackjack satellites are identical and were constructed using commercial Saturn-class buses developed by Blue Canyon, a subsidiary of Raytheon Technologies. Blue Canyon Technologies was awarded a $14.1 million contract by DARPA in 2020 to produce four satellites, with an option to manufacture up to 20 satellites valued at $99 million. These small satellite buses can accommodate payloads weighing up to 441 pounds (200 kilograms). Each satellite in the Blackjack system features a Pit Boss data processing node and a Storm King radio frequency payload both manufactured by SEAKR Engineering, another Raytheon subsidiary. Additionally, there are four laser communication terminals provided by Kachi International on each satellite. The objective of the project, as Forbes explained, is to demonstrate LEO performance comparable to current systems in geosynchronous orbit while ensuring that the payloads meet the size, weight, and power constraints of the commercial bus. The satellites will undergo several months of commissioning, followed by orbit raising, and will then proceed to demonstrate interactions involving proliferated satellite architectures. Thanks for watching.